GoTV is a new channel that connects independent artists to a unique media platform. Joining us from GoTV is co-creator Darnell West and producer of Pirate Pictures, Gail Gallagher. What an honor to have you here today. Thanks for having us. You are welcome. So tell me, there's a lot of hullabaloo about GoTV. Yes. What exactly is GoTV? You know, GoTV was created as a platform for independent artists, independent films, uh, independent music. And uh, we just kind of noticed a need out there and a, a gap for creatives not to be censored, but also to have a platform that they could get the work that they're really spending their lifetime developing uh, to the city. Because so, St. Louis is so rich with content, it, it, it just made no sense that this, these works weren't on TV. And Gail, you're a producer, so I am. tell me how vital it is that something like GoTV has come along. Well, like Darnell was saying, I don't think people realize how much film production is actually happening here in St. Louis. This past week, there was a, a week-long festival of all St. Louis films. And that's really amazing and it's great because you get to see your movie on the big screen, but it's a limited audience where with GoTV, we're able to reach so many more people and people that might not necessarily make a trip out to the movie theater to go see a film, but would catch it on television. And then we reach those, those people, you know, just the wider audience. It's amazing. Okay, Darnell, what was the brainchild? How did GoTV come to be in existence? Well, you know, we kept running into people that, uh, that were just doing some amazing things. And we were like, wow, this is amazing. Where is it? And the only answer that we kept hearing was YouTube. Well, while YouTube is a great platform, uh, there are other platforms, and, and of course we believe GoTee is that, you know, that platform for independent, uh, independence or creatives in our city. And uh, again, uh, St. Louis is rich with independent material, and we are that platform to get that material out to the city. And uh, not only the city, I mean, we're, we're expanding all the time. We have a guy right now in Dallas getting ready to, you know, get on ground in Dallas to launch some things there. And so we're, I mean, we're just wanting to get everything that's going on here in this city out, you know, to the people in this city and beyond this city. Why do we need to do that? Why do we need to do it? Well, one of the reasons is because um, uh, with like some of the documentaries and, and even movies that Gail's a part of and her company, it's so rich. The content is so good. There are movies, I mean, in every movie is a message, you know. And so uh, whether that message is reconciliation, whatever that is, mm -hmm. it's just incredible to have uh, these messages going out. Mm -hmm. Oh, who's this on the screen here? <laughs> That's Dan. That is Dan Byington. <laughs> He's a local filmmaker. Um, He's been involved in, in several different projects in St. Louis, and I know that he's working on one right now uh, called Grandmother's Murder Club, and just one of the many independent filmmakers here in town. And he's also developing, along with some of the guys at Webster University, some of the interns, mm -hmm. he's developing a program, uh, uh, and it's actually going to be a series based upon the loop. And so it's going to be talking about all the things, the businesses, and all of the fun that's going on in the Loop, and uh, which is, of course, everybody in St. Louis loves the Loop. You know? <laughs> so, Gail, what has it meant to you to be able to connect with GoTV? Well, along with being a, a producer myself, I'm also distributing other films. And to have yet another outlet outside of YouTube where we can get our films shown reach the audiences that, that are out there and really share, like Darnell said, there's so many films out here that have these messages that, that are really important. I've just watched about a dozen documentaries last week as part of the, international, or as part of the, the filmmaker showcase and there's such powerful filmmaking going on here in St. Louis and I love the fact that these films will will get to live on that it's not just oh great you made a movie that's sitting on your mother's shelf and she's very proud of you but that that other people will be able to see these films all right well we have to take a quick break but when we come back we're going to talk more all right we have more with go tv after this stay with us <laughs> <laughs> 